wars don't always need a big reason to happen. People have fought over silly things, but one of the most bizarre wars that has taken place in history is Harbul Basus, the War of Basus or Naqati Basus, the Camel of Basus. Because believe it or not, it was fought over a camel and it lasted for 40 years. Reading these stories gives you an understanding of the Arab mindset and about the kind of society that the Prophet ﷺ came into and the kind of change that he was able to bring. So what is the war of Basus? This is how the story goes. Basus was a woman and this camel actually belonged to her neighbor. Now, there was a mighty chieftain amongst the Arabs called Kuleib. Now this man was so fearsome that he would enter an area where there is water and let his animals drink and graze. And no one would dare to bring their animals to this area. And one day Kuleib saw a camel that did not belong to him amongst his flock. So he took an arrow and shot it. The arrow hit the camel in its udder and it is said that it ran back to its owner and then collapsed and died. Now when this woman named Basus heard of this, she shouted, Wadullah, Wadullah, oh the shame. And she said the following lines, which actually started the war. لَعَمْرُكَ لَوْ أَسْبَحْتُ فِي ذَارِ مُنْكِذٍ لَمَا ذِيمَ سَعْدٌ وَهْوَ جَارٌ لِأَبْيَاتِ By your life, were I in the house of Munkith, Munkith was her father. Sa'd would not have been wronged while a neighbor to my abodes. Sa'd was the owner of the camel. وَلَكِنِّي أَسْبَحْتُ فِي ذَارِ غُرْبَةٍ مَتَى يَعْدُ فِيهَا الذِّعْبُ يَعْدُ عَلَى شَاتِ but I am in a house among strangers where when the wolf attacks, it attacks my sheep. O Sa'ad, do not be deceived but leave for you are amongst a people who are as good as dead to their neighbors. لا يفقدوني بنياتي. And here are my camels before you, for I am leaving them, for my sons won't miss me. And if you know the Arabs, this was not going to be something that would be left alone. So her nephew, Jassas ibn Murrah, who was from the tribe of Bakr, went to Kuleib and stabbed him with a spear, killing him. Now, some of them wanted to avoid the inevitable war that would ensue between the tribes of Thaglib and Bakr. And what they had to do was offer the killer Jassas to Thaglib and make peace. But this is not what happened. Kuleib had a brother known as Zir Salim. Zir Salim meant the womanizer Salim. And he was also a drunkard. And it is related that when they came to him and told him about the death of Kuleib, he continued drinking. And he said, Today shall be for wine, and tomorrow shall be a grave matter. Hold me to the firm oath by my life that I will abandon all that the abodes enclose. وَهَجْرِ الْغَانِيَاتِ وَشُرْبَ كَأْسٍ وَلُبْسِي جُبَّةً لَا تُسْتَعَارُ That I will shun the maidens, forsake the drinking cup, and wearing of the unborrowed robe. وَلَسْتُ بِخَالِعٍ ذِرْعِي وَسَيْفِي إِلَىٰ أَنْ يَخْلَأَ اللَّيْلَ النَّهَارُ That I will not cast off my chainmail, or ungird my sword until the day casts off the night, meaning as long as the day does not separate from the night. 
وإلا أن تبيد سرات بكر فلا يبقى لها أبدا أثار until the Banu Bakr's lofty summit is demolished and no trace of them remains. And it was from the ignorance of the Arabs at that time that when a great person was killed, they would not be satisfied by killing another person in retaliation. Zir Salim, or Muhelhil, as he is also known, he had believed that the life of Kuleib was equal to the entire tribe of Bakr, and you can imagine the bloodbath that followed. There was a wise chief from Bakr named Al-Harith ibn Ubad, who wanted nothing to do with this nonsense, and it was said that he was the most patient man of his time, but also the fiercest. He had not entered this war. He sent his son Bujair to Muhalhil to make peace between the two tribes, and Muhalhil killed him. When Al-Harith heard about the death of his son, he said, Ni'mal qatheelu qatheelan aslaha bayna bakrin wa thakl. Great is the one killed if he has brought peace between Bakr and Thakl, because he thought that Muhalhil had killed him, considering him an equal to Kuleib, and that now the war would end. But they told him what Muhalhil had said whilst killing him. Die for the shoelace of Kuleib. Hearing this, Al-Harith was enraged. O oh, Banu Thaglib, be warned. We have drunk from the pure cup of death. يا بني ثغلب قتلتم قتيلا ما سمعنا بمثنه في الخوالي O بني ثغلب You have killed one the like of whom we have not heard of in the ages past قرم مربة النعامة مني لقهت حرب وائل عن حيالي Bring the reins of Naama close to me The war of Wa'il has ceased its period of menstruation Naama was his horse Wa'il was the common ancestor of both the tribes. Here he says, the war of Wa'il has stopped menstruating and has now become pregnant and it will give birth to death and destruction. Bring the reins of Na'ama close to me. It is not my words that are meant but my actions. And he swore to kill Banu Thaglib till the earth spoke to him on their behalf and asked him to stop. And in reality, he did kill so many of them in the wars that followed that the tribe was almost extinct and it is said that they finally dug a hole in the ground and made a man enter it and when Al-Harith passed by, he called out to him asking him, to stop killing Banu Thaglib. And he said, Aba Mundirin Afneet, Fastabqi Badana, Hananika, Badu Sherri Ahwanu Mim Badi, Father of Mundir, leave some of us, for you have annihilated. Show us much tenderness. Some evils are lighter than others. And thus, when the earth had finally spoken to him, that is when he ceased the killing. And this is how. The war of Basus finally ended after 40 years.